Washington University did not begin as Washington University. It began as Elliott Seminary. William Greenleaf Elliott was a Unitarian minister who came to St. Louis and founded the first Unitarian church in St. Louis. People loved him. He was very involved in the city. Lots of the shakers and movers of St. Louis joined his church, and his congregation for many years talked about the need for a university in St. Louis. In 1853, one of his parishioners, Wayman Crow, was a state legislator, and he was in Jefferson City at a legislative session. They were passing lots of Elia Masonary type institution charters that were forever tax-free in the state of Missouri. Crow looked through them all, found one that he liked, began the editing of that. For the name, he put Elliott Seminary, and for the board members, he put members of the church, fellow parishioners, and the state legislature passed it. So they began immediately trying to raise funds and this sort of thing. Uh, Elliot was a modest guy, and he didn't think it was appropriate to name it after himself. And also, seminary, he thought, sounded too much like a religious institution. And our charter was very clear that there'd never be a test for race, sex, or religion. And if you think of 1850s in St. Louis, it was just before the Civil War. So the board realized that they had to have everybody to support this institution. And the name that kept coming up was Washington. George Washington was the national hero and they felt it would probably be appropriate and appeal to everybody. The charter was signed on February the 22nd, which was George Washington's birthday. At a celebration of the inauguration of the university in 1857, William Greenleaf Elliott stated that Washington is a name admirably adapted to the university plan proposed, namely the establishment of an American university upon the broad foundation of Republican and Christian principles free from the trammels of sect and party.